Hi, I'm Mr. V. Welcome to Story Club. When you hear the word plants, what usually comes to your mind? I usually think of harmless plants, like pretty smelling flowers, trees, or some of the foods that I like to eat. But did you know that some plants actually eat animals? It's true. Let's find out more in How and Why's Plants Eat Insects. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it now and read along with us. How and Why Plants Eat Insects by Elaine Pasco. Photographs by Dwight Kuhn. Pitcher plants poke up through the damp ground. They are called pitcher plants because each plant is shaped like a little pitcher and holds water. Pitcher plants are even more unusual than they look. These plants eat insects. Sometimes a frog visits a pitcher plant. Both the frog and the plant are waiting for the same thing, a tasty insect meal. Insects and spiders visit pitcher plants searching for food. But when they go into the plants, they cannot climb out. The inside of the pitcher is slippery, and it is lined with tiny spines. All of the spines point downward. Trapped inside the pitcher, insects and spiders slide down into the water at the bottom of the plant and drown. The water is full of juices that break down the bodies of the plant's prey. The water becomes a kind of soup, and the plant soaks up its meal. Sundews grow in boggy places where the soil is poor. Like other insect-eating plants, sundews need more nutrients than they can get from the soil, so they get what they need from insects. The sundew sets a sweet trap. The plant's leaves are covered with reddish hairs. The hairs are coated with sticky juice. The sundew's juice smells sweet, so insects, such as this flower fly, come to drink. Once an insect lands, it cannot leave. The juice is too sticky. The sundew is like a living piece of flypaper. As the insect struggles, the sundew's sticky hair bend to hold it tight. Then the hairs begin to make digestive juices. In a few days, only the shell of the insect is left. A Venus flytrap captures insects with a snap. The plant's leaves look almost like flowers. They are shiny and red inside, and they have lots of sweet nectar. Each leaf has a fringe of delicate spines. These spines are very important to the plant. They tell it when a meal arrives. A damselfly, for example, might come to a Venus flytrap searching for nectar. When the damselfly lands on a leaf, it brushes against special trigger hairs. Snap! The leaf closes tightly, trapping the damselfly inside. Juices flow from the leaf, breaking down the damselfly's body. The leaf will not open until it has soaked up its insect meal. Bladderworts grow underwater in ponds. These plants are covered with tiny air-filled sacs. The sacs look like bubbles, but they are actually traps. Water fleas, mosquito larvae, and other tiny water insects come to the plants looking for food. When an insect brushes against a bubble trap, the trap springs open. Water rushes into the bubble, bringing the insect with it. Then the trap shuts. Plant juices flow into the bubble to break down the insect, and the bladderwort has a meal. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I'd never heard of a bladderwort before I read this book. Mother Nature never ceases to amaze me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and the red subscribe button down below to get more videos. Until next time, keep reading.